Hey guys, happy Friday to you all. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. I am definitely having a great day. My day got started at Levi School. They were celebrating Veterans Day and I have to say that it's gotta be one of the best private schools in the entire world. I cannot say enough great things about it. So if you're looking for a school this school is amazing. It's Central Christian Academy. If you live near Cannonsburg and you've always questioned it, don't question it. It's been the best decision I've ever made for my kids. I wish I would have made it sooner. They really focus on what is really important. And so I'm super appreciative. This is not really a video about that, but I wanted to give them a shout out because they are so amazing. They are so amazing. So, anyways, I just got done teaching at the studio and I am now on my way to get dressed for a Watchful Shepherd event, which is a charity for drug abuse. So if you have not got your tickets, if you have not gotten your tickets, go get your tickets. It is going to be so much fun. It's amazing. All the stars are at the studio. They're dancing, they're nervous, they're super excited to step outside their comfort zone like we've been talking about. I've been encouraging them. So come on out, it's so much fun. It's, I think it's the funnest type of charity event because who gets to see people dancing and enjoying themselves and I don't know, get your tickets. It's at South Point tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. So besides that, I wanted to talk to you today about who you surround yourself with and the company you keep. You are the sum total of the five friends that you surround yourself with. The people you spend the most time with, that's who you are. Do you remember when your parents said, birds of a feather flock together? Or show me your friends and I'll show you your future? What well, was true? It was totally true. And I am totally living proof of that. And I wanted to just share a personal story that is very dear to me. And it's part of my journey that God has turned my mess into a message. So when I was a kid, pretty much, my best friend had informed me that she was pregnant. And I cannot tell you, I'll never forget that line standing in the lunch line when she told me that. And this is not to say a bad influence, or maybe I was the bad influence, who really knows? <laughs> um, but I'll never forget that. And it's such an amazing story. And during that year, I had watched her go through this amazing story. She really should write a book because she hid it from her mom for like, I don't even know, nine months and her mom asked her if she wanted to go on Weight Watchers. So it was pretty funny, but it wasn't really funny at that age because she was only 15 and I won't share who this is because um, at the time, you know, this is her personal story. But back to myself is I saw her struggling through all this and having Brianna and whoops, I said her name. No one knows who that is though having her sweet little girl was challenging at times. And, you know, I saw her going through this and I don't know how it happened, but I plead the fifth the very next year. Yes, it's true. I ended up pregnant. So 16 and pregnant, we were baby buddies and it was enjoyable to walk through this experience, at least not alone. But I will say that we certainly made some interesting choices and maybe if we surrounded ourselves with some people <laughs> who were doing different stuff maybe we wouldn't have gotten ourselves into trouble but the point of my story is if you really want to grow in life you know skipping all that you want to surround yourself with people who help you grow people who want to see the best in you and who bring out the best in you a lot of people say different sayings as I love people who just accept me as I am. Well, guess what? Those are not your real friends because real friends don't accept you just as you are because they're constantly encouraging you and helping you to grow and 
be your best. Nobody wants to see someone settling. So when people say that, it's such a cop out. But we do live in a society where if you start to change, people start to ask questions. I know that sometimes people will say, well, you talk different and you've really changed. And even my mom has said, you know, you're, you're really different than you used to be, Ashley. And I always say to my mom, well, mom, I should be, I'm growing. Isn't that the point of life is to grow and be better than we were the day before? So long story short, I hope you have a great day and I hope that you pick people who are more successful than you so you can climb up their ladder as well so they can inspire you to be better. And I hope that we all surround ourselves with very successful people. Also, watch who your children, who their heroes are, or even your hero or people you idolize. When you look at them, maybe it's for the wrong reasons. Maybe it's because they're beautiful or they wear great clothes or um, they're in great shape or I, I just don't know. Whatever the case is, maybe they're not great people and you really should be careful on, on the music you let your kids listen to and the music you listen to because it's brainwashing. Sometimes I listen to music, I'm like, I left my toothbrush at your house. Like how stupid is that? But it, it does have a good beat, but that's why it's deceptive. So watch what your children are watching, the people they idolize. I could throw names out there, but I'm not going to as stars and whatnot because we have to protect our kids. So if they're gonna idolize someone, let it be someone who's smart, who's wise, who's beautiful, who's got a good heart, who loves God, doesn't have to be all that other stuff and wearing no clothes and whatnot. So anyways, that's my rant for the day. I hope it was inspiring for you. And I hope I see some of you tonight to come out and support such a great cause. All right, have a great Friday and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye guys.